Hello YouTubes! Welcome back to yet another COVID-19 edition. Today is going to be our big Nightmare Makers Skull Blot. You guys seen the shirt? We're about to make some nightmares. I'm one third of the trio of terror. Uh, so check out my brother Vic Springston on his channel and David the Weird Kid Show channel on YouTube. We've all kind of band together to do these uh, quarantine uh, vlogs and uploads to kind of keep everybody busy and keep their spirits up and not so much pay so much attention to the news. So today we're going to mix up some... Uh, De rigid foam. I'll show you in a second. It's going to look like this when it's done. Kind of a smooth, hard coating. It's pretty hard stuff. It's denser than great stuff. Um, a lot stronger. You can't just snap it off. So it's super good stuff. And this is what we're going to make our skulls out of. It comes in two parts. A jug of A and a jug of B. I think both these guys for a midi bitty mold supply are about 80 bucks for the whole gallon. Uh, you get both of these for the 80 bucks. Like I said, we've got uh, four different full skull molds. And we got a femur bone, which is going to be cool, so I'm not sure uh, how much that takes. So I'm going to kind of eyeball this stuff. I've got some pre-marked cups. It's almost three ounces and almost three ounces, so hopefully that'll be enough to fill the skull. If not, we'll adjust. No big deal. So these are our molds. I've got them strapped together so that they don't push apart when uh, the foam starts to expand. It's going to kick off some heat. Uh, but man, I'm excited and ready to go. I want to make some skull stains, show you guys what these things look like. Uh, see how they turn out. And I'm going to put the links for Nightmare Makers below. Go find their YouTube channel and subscribe. They're awesome people. They make great stuff. And today I'm going to show you. So let's get busy. It's kind of a nice day here in Indiana. It's going to be cold tomorrow. So this is the day I want to get this done. Uh, I'm going to grab a pre-marked cup. So we're going to do parts A, part B. Let's see. I'm going to do this on the table. One part, and our second part. Now, normally you should mix these separately, but since I've got my marks uh, laid out on this cup, I'm going to go ahead and mix them together. And we're going to want that nice creamy white color. Looks like, uh, you know, like coffee with creamer in it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's about it. Once we'll scrape the hell out of these sides, you'll feel it start to get warm in your hands which I already do, which means it's starting to kick. Figure if I put both parts into one cup, I save a cup, no big deal. All right, let's go uh, number two first. So we're gonna go number two, I'm gonna pour it in. Try and get as much of it out as I can. Oops, making a mess. See how that goes. And I'm going to take this mold and I'm going to bring this all the way down to get them details. I'm kind of just going to swish it around, let it bite into them teeth to get a nice skin on it. Let me see if I can turn on another light. Would help. And then hopefully I mix enough foam. This should be almost six ounces. I want to cover them eyeballs back there to get a nice skin on those. It's starting to foam up. Here we go. All right. So now that we got that done, we're just going to sit down on the table, let this thing rise by itself. In fact, I'm going to pull you guys off the tripod, and I'll just show you in real time what this looks like. Okay. So you can see it's starting to swell. It's coming up slowly. You can see by the back of the mold, it's kind of growing. Now, hopefully that's uh, just about six ounces. It's a little under six ounces. Hopefully that fills this whole mold. We'll find out. So I'm going to let this bad boy go. And then I'm going to start mixing some of the other skulls the same exact way. And then uh, we'll check back on that thing. And we'll see how much the uh, how much uh, foam we got us. And it was enough to fill that whole mold. So a little bit of uh, adjusting. So we'll find out. All right, so we didn't quite fill the mold. This guy will be a top head mostly, maybe a little bit of teeth. Uh, if I'm lucky, I'll get his top teeth out of this. So I went ahead and adjusted the uh, cups. Here was our old lines. Now we're going to bump up here for an extra quarter inch. So we're going to mix this guy up. Two parts. We're going to go in the next mold. So under our new lines. Yeah. 
part B. See what this gets us. Mix it up again, just like the last one. Make it nice and creamy, like uh, milky coffee. Although I'm not a coffee guy, I'm an orange juice guy. All right, mix the hell out of this. Try and blend that color so it's all nice, even, creamy tan. Dig down in there. All right, I think we're ready for our mold. This is going to be skull number three. Again, I think they have seven styles all together. You guys can pick what you like. We'll save the femur for last. So I'm going to dump in. There. Mix up a little more. Can't hurt. Okay, now we're starting to kick. All right, so same as before. I'm going to grab the skull. I'm going to bring it down onto the features. Try and cover the teeth and just kind of slosh it around. Cover up the eye sockets. All right, so now we're kind of coated. It's pretty cool. This foam's starting to swell up already, which is pretty cool. This rigid foam stuff, man, is so cool. So I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to let it kick. And then I'm going to come back and show you if our ratio is right this time. We got a full skull out of this one. All right, so we're at number three. Almost full, getting close to that top line. So I'll adjust my mix again, add a little more, and I'll mix up the next one. All right, I adjusted the mix again. We're on skull number four. And the numbers are just styles is all they are. Like I said, I think they have seven all together. So you can see that guy already starting to foam up and raise, almost like bacon bread. So I'm gonna put this guy back on down on the table to kick, and I'm gonna move on to the next skull. All right, I just upped the ante again, poured up skull number six, which is the open face skull with the open mouth. And you can see that sort of raising like bread. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up a good batch. And I'm going to go ahead and knock out the femur and see if I overkill or underkill. So I'll check back in a minute. All right, so I fixed up the same amount I mixed up for skull number six. I mixed up for the femur, which is going to be overkill. But that's okay. Now I know not to mix so much. So I'm going to give these guys a couple more minutes. And then we're going to start demolding. All righty. So I got the bone filled up. Obviously, I poured a little bit too much in the bone but that's okay we got a little extra the stuff i had left over in the bone i just went ahead and topped off the uh, number two skull right here so i think number three should be ready to go so i'm going to unstrap it and strap out okay put them on the table two halves apart pops right apart all right set those there this is number three skull. It's just a little silicone jacket over the skull. Let's uh, pop this guy out of there. Just like Noah's saying, just kind of slide it over. Put your fingers on them. And try not to tear the jacket. Pull it back on itself. All right. Pull the eyes out. One eye, pop the other, and then pull out the nose. God, look how freaking cool that is, man. We'll set this down for a second. Turn the mold back inside out. Then we can go ahead and stick the mold back in this little plastic jacket. Uh, this one is skull number three. So look how look how cool that is. I mean, I mean, man, you could probably stick a piece of PVC and mold these in. You could change the head off of a crappy Home Depot skeleton and use this guy instead. I mean, you could dremel out the jaw and fill it. I mean, there it's, I mean, this is so much better than what you get at Home Depot. And we made it in half an hour, you know, with just some uh, rigid foam. Um, I mean, that's why these things, I mean, man, you guys go check out Nightmare Makers. Like I said, I'm going to have their links below. Go check them out. Subscribe because you know they're building, you know they're making more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead since uh, number three is out. 
Well, this guy's heating up. The bone is still kind of hot because I poured a lot of foam in there. So I'm going to go ahead and demold everything. And then when I come back, uh, we're going to take a look at everything. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, we're back. I went ahead and took just a little wood saw for doing trim. And I trimmed off the, all the excess off of the femur. I mean, the femur is just freaking amazing. I mean, look how cool it is. Can you imagine the stuff you can make with that thing? I mean, it just makes you want to be a freaking caveman and go out and start bashing crap. Um, yeah, the possibilities are endless. I mean, you could easily mold a, a wooden dowel in here or a fiberglass dowel or a rod. I mean, this could be a door handle, some shed handles, you know. Um, I could easily weld up a couple of nuts and put a bar through here and bolt it to a door and use it as a pull handle. Um, I mean, with the skulls themselves, I, I absolutely love the screaming skull. That's amazing. I mean, you could literally mold a piece of one inch PVC on the bottom and swap heads on them crappy uh, skeletons, the plastic skeletons we get with the crappy Home Depot heads. Uh, but I, I love the skulls. I mean, not only does Nightmare Makers oops, you bastard, make skulls, they're making pumpkins. They've got a couple sizes pumpkins. Um, they also send, they sell ends, uh, bone ends that you guys can just snap off and make like little vertebrae and make a whole wall. Um, I mean, the possibilities are basically endless. Like I showed you guys, these are silicone jackets. So you could pour a resin in here. You could use fiberglass. You know, cobwebs loves this fiberglass. I love concrete too. Of course, you're going to shorten the, shorten the mold's life because that's uh, a more abrasive material. But at the end of this mold's life, hey, why not? Why not pour a, pon a, a full concrete skull up for your yard? Um, speaking of life, they say you can get about 60 to 75 molds out of here um, over the life of this before you have to replace the mold. Um, but even then, I mean, I don't see why you would have to. I mean, you could keep on making just less detailed skulls. But um, uh, it said that some guys have said they've gotten over 100 molds, 100 skulls out of one mold. So are they an investment? Sure. They're totally worth it, though. I mean, you could put just about any medium in here that won't stick to silicone because not much sticks to silicone except for more silicone. So I'm going to bring you guys in and take a look at all the skulls. And if you guys were thinking about picking up a mold, just run over to Nightmare Makers and look and pick out the skull you like. That's the number two guy right there. I think he's really cool. He's kind of a smallish type of head, but just look at the freaking detail on that thing, man. Here's a number three skull. You can kind of see them next to each other size-wise. They're all a little bit different. Here's number four right here. And then here's number six, the open screaming skull. I think he's absolutely my favorite. And you could actually, don't have to mold him with the bottom jaw. You can mold him to just the top jaw only and cut or cut the bottom jaw off if you wanted to. And then the femur. I mean, I got big hands, so look at that femur. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I'm just so impressed with their molds. I mean, and like I said, it was just bitty foam that went in there. It's six pound foam available from Brick in the Yard. Um, it's about 80 bucks for the two gallons. It was, I think that was with shipping to my house. Maybe shipping was a little more. I can't remember. Um, but that's Nightmare Makers, folks. You guys have absolutely got to go and get you some of those. I mean, if you're remotely thinking about making your own skulls and you're tired of dealing with uh, Home Depot crap, go get you some Nightmare Makers. I mean... For all this, we made this in roughly a half an hour, and we got skulls for days. We got pumpkins. I mean, go do yourself a favor and look up Nightmare Makers. And while I'm here and I got you guys, I want to tell you that uh, the Trio of Terror, we're going to be doing a little uh, fun build together. We're each going to grab a femur. We're going to pick a skull. We're each going to start with one skull, one femur, and we're going to build a project out of it, and we're all going to do individual vlogs, and then we're going to upload them. So... You guys should be seeing that pretty soon. I got to get with the other members of the trio and we're going to decide what skull we want to use. And then we're all going to go our own ways, make a project using only these two items plus whatever we can throw in there. And we're going to bring that to you guys pretty soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, I'll put the links, like I said, below for Nightmare Makers. Go look them up, man. Awesome customer service. Awesome product, as you guys can see. I mean, I just want to fill my house with skulls now. I mean, if you want to do catacombs or you just want to change the heads out on your plastic skeletons, I mean, I mean, you just can't lose. So do yourself a favor. Go look up Nightmare Makers. Go find their website. They're on Facebook. They are on YouTube. They have a channel. Go subscribe and like and share. This should literally be the industry standard. So thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me, guys. I appreciate it. I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Whoa.